Boo. Hello, mate. Well, he's a bit of an emo, isn't he? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, he <laughs> looks like a bit of an emo, doesn't he? But I guess I can't really blame him. Anyway, I'm just going to leave the door open there for, you know, to let all the Krug in and shit. With the way with the way the guy talks, I'd probably be doing him a service, <laughs> honestly. God, I'm horrible. Open sesame. Right. Hello, is this the welcome party that you were talking about? This is some welcome party there. <laughs> knives, uh, knives and everything. <laughs> Alright, let's go look in these crates. He did say I can help myself to whatever I need. A uh, bone club and a timber axe. I don't think these are any good, so... Uh... Actually, let's look at the timber axe. What the... How much damage does that do? 3 to 6. Yeah. Going down. Oh, you've got a. You're looking a bit green today, aren't you? You all right there, mate? You do not look well. So I guess he's like the uh, the boss of the of that little group there. So and uh, we're going to come across like a number of uh, like enemies like that that have got a bit of a glow to them to basically say that they're leaders and stuff. And usually when you uh, kill one of them, you get you get like quite a bit of gold and um, and items and stuff, which is quite nice. Uh, branch, that's not very good. Crude leather's okay though, but I've got something that's better on me. 
Um, oi, get out of here. Should probably equip that bow as well, even though I'm probably never going to use it. Uh, mana potion could be useful. Oh, yep. Small potion, always useful. Leech life. Um, I mean, it would be useful if I were to use uh, combat magic, but I don't know if I will. Uh, what's in here? Well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna steal all your gold, Edgar. All right. Thank you. I'll leave you what's what's left, but and it isn't very much. But oh, there's a barrel over there that I need to break. How is my character able to reach that button from there? Ah, I would have missed that mana potion there. Um, is there any more items? Any more barrels or whatever? Nope. Alright, let's head back up then. Right, so Cudgel is 3 to 5 compared to 2 to 5, so I'll just go and equip that. Higher minimum damage, which is always which is always good. Yeah, about that. Anyway, wish you well, and I'm still going to leave the door open. Uh, you look like you could do with some fresh air, so I'll just leave it open for you. Oh, I'm nearly at strength 11. That's cool. Uh, so I've cleared Edgar's basement now. So that's my first quest completed. Oh no, there's some fat guys running, walking towards me. So he can't run because uh, I don't think he's ever seen a salad in his entire life. Ah, oh, you can sh use magic, can you? Yeah. Um, uh, any more secrets? Jeez, these dogs do more damage than uh, the actual Krug do. Like, how sharp are their teeth exactly? I mean, I guess dogs' teeth are uh, generally quite sharp. Ah, we've got another one of these um, Krug with uh, with with a veil of light around it. 
another leader, is it? Only he's got more health than that last one. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I'm strength 11 now. There we go. Uh, frayed longbow. Uh, gold, because I'm, uh, I'm a bit of a fiend. Uh, and the worn leather, which isn't which isn't very good. So uh. more boots. Yeah, lay down, you fat so. Um, I probably should start like uh, picking up more items because uh, I mean there are there are a lot of items in the game that might actually be worth quite a bit of gold. So, especially at this point in the game where. Gold is going to be vital. I mean, it's going to be vital throughout, but... Yeah. Um... Oh, wow. One shot. <laughs> yeah, screw you, scrubs. Uh, right. Finance everything in here. Right. Ooh, wolf. I like wolves. They're actually kind of cool. Very majestic. Right. Do believe there's some secrets behind that waterfall, so... And by secrets, I mean 24 gold. But still, that's useful. Does make me wonder as to who's dropping all that gold, though. Probably the Krug, maybe. Ooh, what's happened here? It's like... It's like a wagon or something, and... Some dead bodies. Okay. Um. I knew they was none too bright, but today I seen everything. They torched this here bridge, and then set to driving a wagon caravan across while it was still a burning. What? That's the only way the stone bridge is that a ways, and that means going through the old crypt to the road beyond. You ain't gonna catch me going that way. <laughs> wow. 
So let me get this straight. So they set a bridge on fire and then proceeded to um, bring a wagon across it while it was burning. Lol. Wonderful. So, yeah, a bit of a detour there. Uh, yep. Okay, so... Basically, we've got to go through a crypt to get to Stonebridge. And, and it's probably going to be full of, like, undead and stuff. Uh, I'll level up again in a sec. There we go. Level two in melee. Nice. I sure do level up quickly in this, don't I? Right. <sighs> Just get into a more comfortable position. Oh, jeez. There's quite a few wolves there. And I'm starting to run out of potions as well, so... I should probably switch to me uh, nature magic so I can just... So I can just run away and attack from a distance. Yoink. Alright, the crypts are that way. Well, I want to look around first. A life shrine. Oh, well, this will be useful then. Alright, I'm going to lure these uh, wolves over here. In that case. Uh, no, get back on the health shrine. Don't run, a, don't run off it. All right, fine. Oh, great! Now I've got, now I've got Krug and whatnot attacking me too. Can you just stop running around in circles? My gosh. Probably going to run out of potions at this rate. Actually, I should probably um, attack the wolves around it first before I, before I face the alpha. Right, let's get back on the Hell Shrine so I can heal up some more. Oh wow, he's doing so much damage that I'm actually losing health quicker than actually healing. I just instinctively pressed um, uh, <laughs> the H key then because uh, I, thought, I thought my character were low in health, but I weren't. Right, um...
were you looking at uh, Gremel? Gremlin? Common hammer, what does that do? Five to seven, ooh. Nice. Well, definitely equipping that then. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see how quick my character went just then? It was like lightning speed. Hey, don't walk away from me. Get back here, fatso. Deal with me like a man. There we go. Wow. Imagine um, setting some flies free just for them to kill. Just for them to try and kill you. Ungrateful buggers. Right, so throughout the game there's going to be a few of these uh, fairy things. Um, as you can see there's a fairy over there which will grant me uh, max, um, well it won't grant me max but it will, uh, it will refill my mana to full which will be quite, which is nice. So I'm just going to switch to my uh, zap now so that I can utilise it. Ah, there's a, it's like a, a deer and, uh, oh, it's like two baby deers and, um, and an adult one. Right. Thanks, Pixie, for giving me a gift of mana. You want gargoyle? Uh, what weapons do these ones have? That looks like a dented mace and a bent flanged mace. So, why are you walking away? I'm backing away, by the way, because these do a lot of damage. I actually died to these a few times in one of my practice attempts.
Right. See, we've got fire spray, puller staff, which I can't pick up, and a bent, flan bent flanged mace. 10 to 13. Lovely. Uh, let's go put these spells in my spell book just so, um, just so I can make more room in my inventory. Oh, sugar. Just realised I'm really low on health potions now, so I better be I better be real careful. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just do that. Let's see, so I've now been recording 58 minutes. Wow, this is taking longer than I was expecting. But I guess I am kind of backing away from like nearly every fight. Uh, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to refrain from using my mace for now and just use my zap so I can just... So I can back away when whenever these monsters get too close. I think that's a pretty clever idea. Worn right, leather, don't want that. And the fire shot. Well, you got fire shot, so just ignore that. He's barely actually do any damage to me now. I think I can just... Ooh, the gloves. I think I can just uh, face him head on now. Ooh, skeleton. Must face that with caution. To say they have no skin on them or anything or any muscle, somehow they do so much damage. Uh, how much would he actually do? Oh, God, that's a decent chunk. More than I can afford to lose. I love how they give the game's giving me loads of mana potions, but like no health potions. 